Have you ever sat somewhere with a good view and watched the world run? Human beings suddenly become little colony ants dashing about in their own purposeful ways getting stuff done. Or maybe not quite getting enough done. And day by day it continues. It continued before I was born and it will continue when my days are over. And you can't help yourself but ask an endless cycle what the point of it is. Why are we doing this? Why are we here? What really is the meaning of life? Well, the meaning of life is just to find your life meaning. That's what everyone's here doing after all, isn't it? There's not a greater feeling than one that feels like you're putting something good out into the world. But somewhere along the line, I realise that many of us find our purpose a lot later than we hoped to. And some of us don't even find it at all. Does that mean that those people lived for absolutely no reason at all? Or that they weren't even alive at all? Of course not. Finding your thing does give you a drive to continue, a want to get out of bed in the morning, but I no longer believe that life and purpose speak in the same language. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing... <laughs> I feel like one of those like puppet show things where it's like, what are we going to do today, Sheila? It's a lovely day out there, so I think to bring in the spring, Sheila, <laughs> we're going to go for a lovely little walk to a local park. Called, sort of local, I don't know, would you call that local? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't really know much about it, apparently it's got tons of history, so sure, I'm up for that. And it's called... Jesmond Dean, um, and that's all I can tell you until we go, so let's go. <laughs> that's all I can tell you until we go, so let's go. I've never been, so I don't know. Oh, why is everything rhyming? Road <laughs> trip. To say that the meaning of life is to find your purpose, will forever cause you to think that the whole point is about where you are heading. Life is, by definition, the characteristics, state or mode that separates a living thing from dead matter. Meaning, life is anything but dead. Imagine a small chick hatching from the shell of an egg. His energy to do that resembles life, and therefore makes us aware of his existence. So life itself is existing. Say hello! Hello darlings. Oh, I nearly said in poop. No, it's not poop, it's a bit of bark. <laughs> oh, look at this tree. His brain, his stomach, his legs, his wings, his feet, his body, however, are merely just the tools required so he can function and access life. His stomach has a purpose, his brain has a purpose, his wings have a purpose, ultimately his body as a whole has a purpose and intends to survive and be as strong for as long as possible. But those tiny little movements in his feet, neck and beak are life. And we all exist somewhere within that small space of life energy, separate from our bodily needs and purpose to survive. So the other two have just gone to the toilet, but it looks lovely here already. Very sunny today, we got quite lucky. I didn't mean to open the door, whoa. I didn't mean to open the door, but seeing as though I did, I'll stand out here for a bit, but it looks lovely here already. <laughs> Hello. We're at Jasmine Dean. We're at Jasmine Dean. But for a toilet stop, because of the bladder of a 70 year old. <laughs> <laughs> She's not lying either. No. I was tempted, do you know what I like to take some um, toilet roll? Just in case I need to go wild later. Did you? No. <laughs> um, I think Adam might probably want ice cream while we're here, but we can ask him. Ooh. You never know. I wouldn't mind. Make one have a look. 
go have a little look at the cafe. There's a cafe here, I think. Apparently the um, petting corner is closed because of flu. Avian influenza prevention zone. For chicken and turkey keepers. So apparently the chickens have flu or something. Avian flu. Is that Avian. only a chicken it's thing? Bird COVID. Um, no, people bird COVID. <laughs> oh god, okay, yeah, I don't want to go near their chickens. <laughs> I remember when foot and mouth was a thing. Oh yeah. And that was from like cows and stuff, was it? Yeah. Hoof and mouth. Hoof and mouth. Hoof and mouth syndrome. <laughs> Life, by definition, isn't concerned about where it's been or how long it will continue. By definition, all life has is now. If energy equals life, it only exists in the present moment of it happening. This means that to truly exist fully in the space of life that we have, every fibre of our being must experience living is anything but dead. If you zoom out and fast forward far enough, we add all this other meaningless junk on top which we've ironically attached heaps of meaning to over time, such as hierarchy, money, technology, power, war, separation, to weaken the power that keeps our energy and vibrations running. Just like the energy of a flame drops with interference, that spirit behind our eyes die and that pep in our step ceases. So. To find your life's meaning does have the ability here to step in behind you and manipulate the speed your energy moves within you, but life began a long time before we stopped to wonder what our life goals are or where we're going next. Just like our body's organ's natural ability to immediately do what the functions were designed to do, life starts doing exactly what it was designed to do. Experiencing. Babies and children are literally at the closest point in their lives to when life's meaning kicked in. After all, life has only just started happening for them. Our connection to life's purpose is hard to reclaim once made-up pressures and distractions come in between our child mind and life. Time, for example. Time doesn't exist in a baby's world, but do you know what does? How beautiful the colours look in their favourite book. How exciting and welcoming their own reflection is before they are taught to be otherwise or how curious they become when faced with lots of interesting textures, or how soothed they feel when drawing erratic scribbles on paper that come straight from the heart. None of those things have purpose, rhyme or reason. They're not goal-orientated actions, they're just experiences which make that little person's life a little more meaningful. You spent 10 years of your life saving up for a sought after house of a south facing garden, but when was the last time you actually stopped and experienced for yourself why so much monetary value was placed upon it? We want things and do things because we've realised that they have value for some reason, reputational, monetary, validation, security, but how often do we ever actually realise, comprehend, grasp, see, recognise, notice, appreciate, hold their value using our human experience. You can sit 450 hours at your computer desk job to visit Turkey for a week of the family, but spend the entirety of it outside of the experience because you're either inside of your head or inside of a screen. The meaning of life isn't to give life a meaning, because that's a process, and by definition, life is happening right now. If the meaning of life is to give life a meaning, then life is forever running the rat race. 
That's not life. Life is the most natural thing we have in existence. The rat race was entirely made up, it isn't natural. And life isn't a goal, because it's already happening. Otherwise, by definition, you'd be born dead until you achieve your first important milestone. The meaning of life isn't to find your life meaning, it's to let life mean something enough. So step into that space of life meaningfully enough that you soak up every little inch of what life is. You know, that thing babies do so organically, and ironically, as adults, we give it a name of mindful thinking because it's now a conscious act for us until it becomes second nature. Let the voice of your loved ones mean something to your heart, because their wisdom and love moves right through your soul. Let the chuckle from a best friend's mild misfortune mean something to your spirit, because it became a total belly howl that you'll never forget. Let the warm, glowing sun mean something to your skin, because it makes everything it touches look beautiful. Let the wind of a blustery day mean something to your mind, because that tickle on the back of your neck reminds you to thank your lucky stars you walk this planet every day. Let the way Earth smells after a rainy Wednesday afternoon mean something to your body, because it told you how life itself is freaking magic. We just had a little picnic. Adam's getting his sweeties out as per usual. Sour Patch Kids says a dog. No, no, no. Come on. It smells food. He was like right there. We've been attracting dogs since we been. We've sat on this bench and had our picnic. The meaning of life isn't to give life a meaning, because that's a process. By definition, life is happening right now. because life itself means enough.